Hello, my name is Pierre Harry, and this is Elkan Sakusa. We are both product specialists with Wonderware California. In this video, we will show you how to transfer data from a Modicon M580 PLC to a Viva system platform. For those of you unfamiliar with who we are, we are Wonderware California, soon to be rebranded as Aviva Select California. We have been around since 1992, providing continuing education on our products in the form of training, workshops, and a growing YouTube channel. We are also a technical resource if you have any questions about the products. We have pre-sales product specialists like myself and Alcansa, as well as a knowledgeable technical support staff. So don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any additional questions about any of the products that you'll be seeing today. So here's the agenda for this video. We will start by showing you a network architecture overview diagram that illustrates our current setup. Then we will show you how to configure Schneider's control expert to connect to the PLC and collect IO data from it. Next, we will dive into the configuration of the Modicon communication server and the OI gateway, which both allow system platform to communicate with the PLC. After that, we will select the appropriate IO from the PLC and define an object in system platform that will utilize those IO points. And finally, we will wrap up by showing how to properly reference the object's attributes to those IO points and view the corresponding data inside of an OMI application. This diagram shows the data flow between the Modicon PLC and system platform. While there are different network architectures that can achieve what we are trying to accomplish today, in our case, we have EcoStructure Control Expert and System Platform installed on two different machines on our network. Control Expert is used to configure and program the PLC, which is connected to the network via Ethernet using TCP IP protocol. Control Expert will only be used during the engineering stage of this process. The data communication protocol that is used to read and write data to the PLC from System Platform is OPC UA through the Modicon communication server. In this section, we will look at the configuration of the Modicon PLC on Control Expert. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up EcoStructure Control Expert, which is Schneider's PLC software. We're going to open the project file by clicking on File, Open, and navigating to the project file. In our case, it's called Workshop Project. Once the project file is open, we're going to open up our demo code, which is the code that we're using to generate the I.O. from this PLC. Next, we're going to click on Build, Rebuild All Projects, and this will effectuate all the changes that were made so far. At this point, we can actually connect to the PLC. First thing we're going to do is click on PLC set address to confirm that the IP address is correct. On the left column here, you can see the PLC column and the IP address is in the address field and beneath it, TCP IP, which is a communication protocol. If you were to use a simulator, you would use the right column. At this point, we can test the connection to show that the PLC is recognized. Next, we're gonna click OK close the dialog box, and actually connect to the PLC. The next step involves transferring the project to the PLC, which is also in the PLC menu. Make sure you select PLC run after transfer in order to run the PLC after the transfer is complete. Click OK and proceed with the transfer. Click OK to confirm run on the project. And at this point, you can observe that the project is being run on the PLC. Now that we have completed the configuration of the Modicum PLC on Control Expert, 
we will move to set up the Modicon communication server on System Platform Management Console. The next step involves setting up the Modicon communication server settings inside of the System Management Console, also known as the SMC. So go ahead and open up the SMC, navigate to your Modicon communication server, top left, expand it, expand controllers, and select Dev Example 1. Here's where you can enter the IP address of your PLC. As you can see, it's entered on the device address one line, 10.1.117.100. Same IP address that we use inside of Control Expert. In addition to setting up the IP address, there are some other configuration parameters that you can configure. Go ahead and click Save once your settings are complete. Inside the Settings menu of the Modicon Communication Server area, there are some additional communication parameters that you can configure. Once again, when your settings are all complete, go ahead and click on Save to save the changes. At this point, you can either start or restart the Modicon communication server. In our case, we're going to restart it since it was already on. And that way, the changes will be effectuated. After you've started or restarted it, wait until you see the green check mark on the bottom right corner of the Modicon communication icon, which indicates that the server is running correctly. Now that we have a running project on the PLC, in order to receive this data in System Platform, we need to create a corresponding attributes. In the System Platform Integrated Development Environment, we have created one object called PLCM580. And this object contains multiple attributes as seen on the screen. We are only interested in three of these attributes, analog one configured as an integer, and the two digital IOs configured to have Boolean data type. So far, we have covered setting up the Modicon PLC on Control Expert and the configuration of Modicon Communication Server on System Platform Management Console. Next step will cover the configuration of OI Gateway. In order to configure the OI Gateway, we will launch the System Platform Management Console. We'll expand the Operation Integration Server Manager and then expand the modic and WS, which is the Galaxy we are using for this demo. Then expand the Operation Integration Supervisory Servers. We will then expand the Standards, Gateway, Configuration, and finally modic and Communication Server, underscore connection. Note the configuration on the screen. In the OPC UA Server details, we include the details for the modic and Communication Server that was set up in the previous steps. We can test the connection to verify that the OI gateway and the modicum communication server are communicating. There are a few other settings that can be changed including security policy and user credentials. Once we are done with the MCS connection configuration, we need to save it. And then double click on the device group. Note the device group name as it will be used later to reference the IOs. We can also browse the OPC UA server and look for the data points that we are interested in. In this demo, we are interested in three data points, digital one, digital two, and analog data point. Once we are done editing, we need to save the configuration. To verify that we are getting all the data we need from the PLC, we will expand the diagnostics and navigate to client groups. In Client Groups, click on the DTE Suite Link plugin. You can see the data points listed. The green boxes indicate good quality and the red boxes indicate bad quality data. So far, we have covered the configuration for Modic and PLC, the Modic and Communication Server, and the configuration for the OI Gateway. 
The next step would be configuration of the DI object. In the System Platform Integrated Development Environment, we created a DDE Suite Link Client DI object, derived from the existing DDE Suite Link Client template in the Device Integration Toolset. Alternatively, an OPC Client DI object could be used. In the General tab, we assign the server node to the local host and the communication protocol to SweetLink as shown on the screen. For the topic, we created one topic, MCS underscore connection underscore device group. As seen on the right hand side of the screen, we have placed the PLCM 580 object under the same topic. Now that we have configured the PLC, the modicum communication server, the OI gateway, and the DI object, it is time to set up a Viva OMI to be able to view the real-time data coming from the modicum PLC in-system platform. In the System Platform Integrated Development Environment, the IDE, in the graphical toolbox, we have created a symbol to display the three IO points that we are interested in from the PLC. Using an existing symbol, from the Situation and Awareness Library, we created three text entry icons and edited their custom properties to reference the attributes created earlier in the system platform. As seen on the screen, the first text entry is referenced to the analog one attribute, and the second text entry is referenced to digital one attribute, and so on. Once we are done editing the symbol, we need to save it. Once we have created the View App Engine, we need to move to the deployment view and deploy our application to be able to see it in the Aviva OMI Manager. As seen on the screen, the three IOs communicated from the modicum PLC to system platform, displaying real-time values. Thank you for watching our video about modicum PLC connectivity to system platform. For more information about Aviva products, workshops, and trainings, please visit our website www.wonderwarecalifornia.com.